I found a very big difference between the PC version, PlayStation 5 version and most likely Xbox version as well, but I can't verify the Xbox version at all at this stage. Anyway, in regards to HDR, there's a big difference between PC and let's say console version and no worries at all, it's not Black Level Race. Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and again, no worries at all, we don't have any Black Level Race on the console version or at least on the PlayStation 5 version, but I'm very sure the same should count for the Xbox version as well. But if I'm wrong, put in the comment section, what is your experience actually in terms of yeah, Black Level Race and the Xbox version? Because again, on the PlayStation 5 version, I can't find any difference to the PC version, which is completely, it's great because we don't have any elevated Black Levels in that space. But there is a big difference in terms of the maximum peak brightness between PC version and at least my PlayStation 5 version. We're talking about almost twice as much as high, as high maybe, maximum peak brightness compared to the PC version. On the PC version I measured around 3800 nits which um, is still too much of course compared to other games where we have, uh, yeah, proper HDR peak brightness of around 1000, 1500 candela, which fits most of the consumer TV nowadays. 3800 nits is already way too much and that means you will have a lot of clipping, especially when you use HGHG in specular highlights. On the PlayStation 5, I measured a maximum peak brightness of around 6500 nits, which is yeah, more or less twice as much as on the PC version, which of course now leads into even more clipping and specular highlights. Again, even yeah, when you use dynamic tone mapping off because at some point it's just too much. And that's a big problem because no consumer TV nowadays can't actually display 6,500 nits. So that's a big problem. And unfortunately we can't change anything because that space on the PlayStation 5 does not, and I'm very sure the same counts for the Xbox Series version, does not support the HDR system level calibration on the console. So that means you can set up whatever you want here. It doesn't change anything. The maximum peak brightness is always around 6,500 nits. The only setting what we have in a game is the brightness setting where we can change shadow details. You can have more or less shadow details if you want and this Menu is exactly the same as on the PC. Standard setting is 50, which I found it's a good start, but it's not perfect. And on the PlayStation 5, we have exactly the same problem as on the PC version because you can't increase or decrease this setting by just one value. Let's say like this, you like to have 49 instead of 50, but it's just jumping in steps of five. That's the problem and the same is on the PC version. So on the PC version you can actually use a mouse and then you can set it to 49 because I found on the PC version with my TVs LG CX and LG G2 49 was a very very good value. Don't get me wrong 50 is a very good start but it's still a little bit too much. So I would actually need to decrease this just a little bit but 45 the next step what you can set on the PlayStation 5 version it's just too much and you will have a little bit of crushed blacks. And if Electronic Arts is watching my video, then please fix the brightness setting in terms of yeah, how you can set it up because we would need to have single steps, not five steps at all or at the same time, okay? So this is probably just a minor fix, but it would be very, very helpful. In terms of HDR in general, the PlayStation 5 version is, in my opinion, not as good as the PC version, but it's just like that. And the reason is really just because of the maximum peak brightness, because with 6500 nits you have more clipping and specular highlights than with 3800 nits. And that's why my recommendation in terms of should you now use HGLG or dynamic tone mapping on and off is the same. As for the PC version, do not use HGHG because it will just give you a lot of clipping and specular highlights. But again, and the same counts for the PC version, maybe some specular highlights are actually looking better with HGHG enabled because they are more specular. I don't know how to explain this actually, but sometimes dynamic tone mapping off looks a little bit boring compared to HGHG. 
but it will give you much more details compared to HGHG. And with dynamic tone mapping on, we have the same issue as in many other games. Dynamic tone mapping on is over brighten the picture in certain situations. This is maybe a good solution when you play a game in a very, very bright room. But to be very honest, that space should be played in a complete dark room. Okay, my friends, that's it for this video. I say thank you very much for watching me and I apologize that I can't verify the Xbox version at all, especially not in terms of Dolby Vision, but I'm very sure there is no native Dolby Vision support on the Xbox series at all. So the differences between HGIG and Dolby Vision, there shouldn't be almost zero difference, okay? So I will do also a comparison video between the Fidelity 4K mode and the performance mode on the PlayStation 5, but so far I have to say the game runs fine. It does look fine and it runs fine. So I have no complaints so far. And I'm also planning to do a, maybe a side-by-side -side comparison or something like that with the Callisto Protocol because we're talking about very similar games, um, but not quite that similar, okay? Anyway, I'm planning to do a video like this as well, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching me. i see you guys next time. Bye.